The Vitec 2 compact system simplifies and speeds the identification and susceptibility testing of bacterial and yeast organisms. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate and explain how to set up isolates and test cards for processing on the Vitec 2 compact instrument. It is critical that specimen suspensions and dilutions be prepared correctly to ensure accurate test results. First, gather the items you will need. Patient specimens on culture plates in compliance with the culture requirements table found in the Vitec 2 Systems Product Information Manual. A test tube rack. 12 by 75 millimeter clear polystyrene disposable test tubes and caps. A bottle of sterile aqueous 0.45 to 0.50% saline with a pH between 4.5 and 7.0. The dispense set adjustable volume saline dispenser received with the Vitec 2 compact instrument startup kit. Sterile sticks or swabs. The DensiCheck Plus instrument and standards kit used to measure the optical density of a microorganism suspension. The two fixed volume pipetters received with the system and pipette tips. A vortex, if necessary, to prepare a homogeneous organism suspension. The number of Vitec 2 test cards, warm to room temperature, required for setup. Lint free tissue or lens paper. Plastic disposable transfer pipettes, powder free gloves, an approved biohazard waste container, and a Vitec 2 compact cassette. When setting up isolates for testing on the Vitec 2 compact system, an organism suspension is made using the DensiCheck Plus instrument to achieve the turbidity required for the card type being set up. For ID card setup, this organism suspension is used to inoculate the card. For AST card setup, an aliquot from the ID suspension tube is transferred to an AST tube with 3.0 milliliters of saline. This suspension is used to inoculate the AST card. For the AST suspensions, 145 milliliters of the ID suspension is used for a gram negative card and 280 milliliters is used for a gram-positive, strep, or yeast card. Remove the ID test card, now warm to room temperature, from its foil pouch and place in the cassette with the transfer tube pointing away from you in order to minimize accidentally touching the transfer tube. If required by your standard operating procedure, Label the top third of a 12 by 75 millimeter clear polystyrene tube with patient identification. Using the dispense set, dispense 3.0 milliliters of saline into the tube. Use a sterile stick or swab to transfer morphologically similar colonies to the saline tube. Avoid picking up any auger with the stick or swab. Mix well to prepare a homogeneous suspension. If necessary, cap the tube and vortex thoroughly. Use the DensiCheck Plus to verify an inoculum density equivalent to the McFarland units required by the ID card. Press the power key to turn on the DensiCheck Plus. Note, in order to prolong battery life, the instrument will automatically shut off after one minute of non-use. Verify the tube type is set to plastic. Clean the outside of the tube with lint-free tissue or lens paper. Insert the tube containing the organism suspension into the DensiCheck Plus, ensuring that it is seated at the bottom. The DensiCheck Plus displays a series of dashes. Slowly rotate the tube one complete revolution, 360 degrees, before the dash is complete and the reading is displayed. Check that the displayed McFarland unit is within the acceptable range. Test card inoculum density ranges can be found in the product information manual. If the McFarland unit is too high, dilute the suspension with small increments of saline and recheck the value. 
in order to prevent contamination, do not add additional saline directly from the dispensette. Instead, follow laboratory best practice by dispensing saline for dilutions into a separate test tube and then use a transfer pipette to add the saline to the inoculum tube. If the suspension reading is lower than the required McFarland, add more organism and recheck the density. Once the density is within the correct range, place the inoculum tube in the well in front of the ID card. If no AST is to be set up on this isolate, turn the ID card and place the transfer tube into the suspension. Since we are also setting up susceptibilities on this isolate, remove the AST card from its foil pouch. Place the AST card in the next slot of the cassette to the right of the ID card, standing on end with the transfer tube pointed away from you in order to minimize accidentally touching the transfer tube. Using the dispensette, dispense 3.0 milliliters of saline into another polystyrene tube and place it in front of the AST card. Since this is a gram-negative AST card, use the 145 milliliter pipetter to transfer an aliquot of the organism suspension to the saline tube. It is not necessary to mix this AST suspension as mixing will be performed by the instrument. Turn the ID card and place the transfer tube into the ID suspension. Do the same for the AST card using the AST suspension. Notice that the transfer tubes attached to the test cards are color-coded. ID cards have blue transfer tubes, while AST cards have gray. The next isolate requires only a gram-positive susceptibility card. In situations where identification of an organism has been determined using another method, an AST card can be run alone. However, the initial organism suspension must still be prepared. Remove the room temperature AST test card from its foil pouch and place in the cassette standing on end with the transfer tube pointing away from you in order to minimize accidentally touching the transfer tube. If required by your standard operating procedure, label the top third of two 12 by 75 millimeter clear polystyrene tubes with the accession number. Using the dispensette, dispense 3.0 milliliters of saline into both tubes. Use a sterile stick or swab to transfer morphologically similar colonies to one of the tubes. Be careful to avoid picking up any auger with the stick or swab. Mix well to prepare a homogeneous suspension. If necessary, cap the tube and vortex thoroughly. Using the DensiCheck Plus, verify an inoculum density equivalent to the McFarland units required by the AST card. Press the power key to turn on the DensiCheck Plus. Verify the tube type is set to plastic. Clean the outside of the tube with lint-free tissue or lens paper. Insert the tube containing the organism suspension into the DensiCheck Plus, ensuring that it is seated at the bottom. The DensiCheck Plus displays a series of dashes. Slowly rotate the tube one complete revolution, 360 degrees, before the dash is complete and the reading is displayed. Check that the displayed McFarland unit is within the acceptable range. If the organism suspension needs adjusting, add more saline or organism following instructions given previously when setting up an ID and AST card pair. Since a gram-positive AST card is being set up, use the 280 milliliter pipetter to transfer an aliquot of organism suspension to the other labeled saline tube. It is not necessary to mix this AST suspension, as mixing will be performed by the instrument. Place the tube in front of the AST card. Turn the AST card and place the transfer tube into the AST suspension. Discard the remainder of the organism suspension per your laboratory procedures. After all suspensions and test cards are prepared, 
the cassette is ready to be placed in the instrument for the cards to be filled. 